In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you some exciting slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've added this image of a car with the side mirror and then I've added some image here. And then here you can add the company logo, the name and some contact details of your company or your agency. So what happens when I click, you can see here the image changes to some other image, second image then come some the greenery then i've added some kind of uh, clouds which is moving and then i've added one more image which looks like a beach etc and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to insert one rectangle here for that go to insert shape select the rectangle draw the rectangle covering the whole slide shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to insert one image onto this particular rectangle for that right mouse click go to the format shape under the fill select picture or texture fill here i have used this image before that's the reason it's coming here if the image is not visible you just need to go on click on insert and if you are inserting the file from your local pc choose this option or select the online pictures and from here i'm going to search with the keyword mirror and enter key and you can see here this particular image I have selected so just select this image click on insert okay once the image image is selected or inserted it looks something like this and make sure the offset properties are all set to zero then one of the next step which I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this particular part from the from this particular image to do that one click on the insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose the freeform shape here i'm going to click here one you can see here only on the corners i'm going to click just click it and then make sure that when you bring it cur cursor here it should join okay and here you can see here just click it if not again you need to click once again the problem with this one is it's uh, add some more extra shape which we don't need anyway which can be deleted so let me just right mouse click uh, and go to the edit points you can see here some additional ed points have been added that we can delete it so shape outline i'm going to make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it transparent let me just zoom in and i want to delete that additional you can see here these points right mouse click and delete and again right mouse click and delete yeah okay so now let's align this properly first of all what you need to do is for each point right mouse click and make it smooth point here also make it smooth smooth point for everything right mouse click and make it smooth and here also right mouse click and make it smooth the next thing is we need to adjust this one so now what i'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it you can see here just adjust it we cannot make it perfect but we'll try to make it somewhat closer to that one okay so here also you can see here if you want you can just move it a bit and again the problem is the moment you change something again it will have the impact everywhere so you need to be very careful you can see here now this is getting affected so let me just reduce it is a time consuming job but once done it looks very beautiful all right and now this side also i'm going to do that part here also and here also okay so let me just correct it one more time all right so i think we'll take with this one now the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to select the rectangle okay select the rectangle hold the shift key select the shape which we have added just now then go to the picture sorry shape format merge shape and make it a combine the moment you combine what happens let me just show you you can see here this particular image for the section has been completely removed okay and then i can add any image i want 
for that go to insert shape select one rectangle add a rectangle which should be more than the size what we have added shape outline make it no outline again picture or texture fill here i'm going to insert a picture where i can say for example some building okay you can just choose any building of your choice which can be which looks beautiful from the mirror maybe let me just choose this one or i can choose this also let me choose this one click insert and the image has been inserted and then send this to back so it looks something like this you can see here then you can adjust it accordingly all right so this is one image then what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d you can see here now again i need to change this one to change this one again right mouse click go to the format picture and then go here and click on insert online pictures and here i'm going to type for example say a landscape green landscape and i can just choose any image for example let me just choose this one click on insert and this image got inserted here okay the next thing is again i need to send this to back you can see here now i've inserted two images one image here the second image and now we have to do the animation okay so let me just close this one go to the animations enable the animation pane for this particular one i'm going to make it a say uh let me just go here more entrance effects and i'm going to type uh peek in peek in no it's not good maybe i can make the stripes and click ok and this should happen on click and i'm going to cover this okay now what happens is when i click it comes the second image you can see here the same thing you can repeat now Control d to duplicate right mouse click again go to the format picture change the picture to some other picture here you can just type maybe a kind of a beach i can say all right so you can see here i can just type any i can just choose any nice images which i can just select maybe i'm going to choose this one click insert and the image inserted again send this back you can see here now when i play this is the first image this is the second image and this is the third image so depending on that one you can insert as many as images as you want and you can just go to the insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle and here you can provide some kind of details here shape fill i can give orange color shape outline make it no outline and you can give for example your travel agency or some other details as you like.